is not a matter limited to GIS because my, my attention was brought to another situation of, of an 18-bedroom apartment building in Cantumens, this Cantumens area where if this co-owner of this 18-bedroom apartment is accusing some unknown men of demolishing his property without a valid reason. And they always come and say, unknown men. Sylvester Eshan is the co-owner of this 18-bedroom apartment, which has been demolished as we speak. And he spoke to Joy News. This was like about a couple of weeks ago. We, we have that interview. Take a look at this. Just about uh, two months ago, a gentleman came over, walked, came with langas. They were about, the langas were about four. They, they jumped the wall, opened the gate and walked in and confronted the tenants in the house that they were going to demolish the house. So lo and behold, they called me from the office. I drove fast to the place. I met them and then I asked them, what for? And he said, the place, means, the place is for him. I said, where are you coming from? He said he's coming from the office of the vice president. I said, listen, this is a private property. You don't have the right. Do you have any, any paper, any document indicating that you own the property? He didn't mind. So, in fact, there was that misunderstanding. So I drove him out of the house. Two weeks down the lane, at 1 a.m. dawn, he came with langas. They jumped the wall again with a bulldozer, broke part of the building. So I dashed down to the cantonment police station and lodged a formal complaint. And all of these questionable operations happened at dawn. So this GIS one was around 2 a.m. The gentleman you just heard, Sylvester Shan, the co-owner of this 18-bedroom apartment. Think about it, 18-bedroom apartment, which has been demolished by some unknown men. This operation also happened around 1 a.m. So the people showed up at 1 a.m.